There is a lot of scientific evidence that colors make you happy. And because we know that you like our projects overview, we made it even better. Check out the new project's visualizations and let us know what you think. Hello again, my name is Julia and I am a product management engineer for the DaVinci Developer Adaptive. Today I want to introduce you to some of our new features for version 2.17. Visualization is always good, and now you can see with one look what the status of your projects is. Through icons and colors in the projects overview, everything is readily visible. To get more detailed information, just hover over an icon. For example, an information status is shown if the authors or standard types are not included in a project. Warnings and arrows are represented with well visible yellow and red borders. You should probably look into those. We also included dependency-related issues, so if you have a circular dependency in your project chain, you can easily see and resolve it. Closed projects are grayed out, and I'm sure you can guess what a lock icon means. The project is locked, obviously. One of the most requested features lately has been an editor for the platform health management. So this new editor is here to help you with the complex task of supervising the execution of applications, monitor their status and triggering state management. For that purpose, you can define the necessary interfaces and supervisions in the PHM editor. Local supervisions help you monitor the results of your supervised entity and define when this monitoring should be active. With the help of a live, deadline and logical supervision types, you can choose the best fitting type for your local supervisions. Use global supervision scopes to get the single global worst of result of all related local supervisions. Additionally, you can use health channels to catch all possible failures in a centralized way. Please check our documentation for more detailed information about the Platform Health Management Editor. Hey, would you be interested in a whole video about this topic? Sounds like a good opportunity to use the feedback button in our tool. Drop us any requests, love letters, or just plain old critique. In the past, undo redo might have gotten you some surprises. Now it's straightforward. Pressing undo will go back one step, and redo, of course, will get you back into the future. We also added some other improvements. You can now use Ctrl, Shift and D to get a list of all hotkeys to quickly open editors and views, so you don't need to know their hotkeys by heart. Let's try out one of the hotkeys. With the list open, find the unresolved references view and press 2. Here, fixing references got even easier. You can now directly spot the problematic part of the reference highlighted in red. Now I want to show you something in the validations view. Hit Ctrl, Shift and D and choose one. The validations view opens and you right away stumble upon validation errors. If you want to discuss or share them with your colleagues or share them with us, just copy them and get all of the information in a table-like format that you can paste wherever you want. And please remember, if you have an issue and want some help, do not hesitate to contact us. I hope you liked this video. Enjoy trying out the new features. Thank you all for watching. If you are interested in more information about the DaVinci Developer Adaptive, take a look at this playlist. And if you want to stay up to date, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye! It's awkward when you don't click. <laughs> Super awkward. <laughs>